the Mako 234 of the center console. It's got twin 150 Mercus on there. Mm -hmm. It's particular itself. It's got index fish boxes on there. That's all that matters. This is uh, before any electronics are put onto the boat itself. It looks like it's got some really good room here actually for fishing in the back. It's got a uh, large live well. She likes the fact that it has in the deck. You might st there you go. It's also shallow. Decent sized kingfish, maybe. That's about it. It's relatively shallow. Yeah, it is. What do you want in a 23 foot boat, though, right? You could. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. But this gives you an idea about the rear room with that seat uh, yeah. there. That's good room. It's got a cutting board for a uh, surface there, which is nice. Oh, here. Is your rig belly? Yep. Yep. Nice. Oh, yep. there we go. That, that's that great. Rig belly go in there. Fresh water washed down there. Okay. Salt water washed down right here. Very, very good. On, both, on the other side. Very nice. Very good. Big live well, huge for a 23 foot boat. It's pressurized. There's a valve yes. arrangement in here that you can kind of fine tune until your conditions you're in and how everything's. Look very good with the seacocks and everything there, yeah. Right to the right level you want it at. Yep. Ideally, you're just, just below that lip and it'll keep it from sloshing around much. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Very cool. It's yep. a little trial and error, but once you get it dialed in, yeah, you then you're done. Yeah, I know. You, it's, yeah. it's, it's like this. I hate to say it, it's like this little. Uh, it's like this little camera. Oh, once you get oh, dialed in, you say, "Well, it's hard to work." <laughs> but once you get the get it, then you don't have to worry about it right, anymore. Right. Yep. Can you yes. reach up? Reach up for how high up? To like that? Yep. Oh, there, yeah. handhold. You can this. still reach it. Very good. There's handholds all around. There's a too, lot of. Every, I way. noticed because I was told. I guess. Like, yeah. like, I fish a lot in one of these and I make those fun of it. Seems like I, I always get stuck where you made some fishes. But everywhere you go to grab, there's a lot of that. There's a handle to the grab out of it. Very convenient. And so its seat is a cooler, so there's your cooler that's removable, and it's just strapped down, which is all you need, actually. You don't need anything fancy. It, that looks like a true coffin box. Take a look. Open the thing up. It looks just like a coffin. Take a look. It's look a, at the, <laughs> They designed it on purpose Those that way. It's insulated. They hold ice real well. Do they? The blue, anything blue is insulated. Got a question for you. Do they drain overboard or into the bilge? Overboard. They drain overboard. Very nice. Freshwater tank, it's small, but it's adequate, six gallons. Mm -hmm. But all it's running is that fresh water wash down. That's the fill to it right there. Oh, your okay. bucket. bucket. Very good. Built-in bucket holder in yep. there. Bucket gas net net. draining. Very good. Yep. How many gallons is that? Gasketed, nice. Size hat, liquor, overboard discharge, holding tank and overboard discharge. And look at trash bucket, which is important. There you go. That All actually, right. it actually is actually an important thing to have. That's a really yeah, a great useful thing to have. Function, function feature. Yeah. Every fish trip, you, know, you bet. You bet. And your again, your battery, your battery, yep, your batteries are down in there, the which is. Are behind where the switches are. Yep. Yep. That's actually great. Yes. Inside, I like it. Yep. Tap standard. These engines have the smart craft gauges, so you end up with all your engine functions between these three right. gauges. Okay. It tells you a wealth of information, all kinds of stuff. Voltage, trim, oil pressure, temperature, trimming. Does the does the dealer deal with the electronics, or if you actually have a boat made from Mako, 
do they install a specific type of electronics that well, they, they prefer? Have, um, package they put together. You can have factory installed. Okay. Very good. Uh, but that's, that's a pretty comprehensive package and it's more than the average fisherman really needs. It's got radar and everything else too. Really? So normally we do it at our dealership. We put a single 10 inch Garmin okay. in there, a standard Horizon DHF and flush mounted right here mm -hmm. on top. And for most people that's what they need. Sure. But usually, uh, what's the most popular Garmin that you, you guys put in? Well, now they've been going with the 7610. Okay. Or actually, now that they've, with that one, the, the touchscreen models are smaller. You can fit the 7612 okay. in here. Okay. Yep. Again, the reason why I ask is because these eyes don't see as well as you get older. Yeah. That's amazing. The 12 inch screen makes a difference. It does. Yeah. Hydraulic helm. Yeah, nice. That's Which I is like. really convenient. I mean, it's a whole different world standing up driving like that or something. Yep. That's important to us. I saw it looking. Fusion stereo, good stereo, four speakers. Pretty nice. So nice comprehensive package. Small boat, this is like, this is good. Yeah, this is. Uh, <laughs> All right. Last on this card will be the uh, the Mako. This is just a 23 footer. They don't make anything bigger uh, in this particular type of boat or center console, unless you want to go super big at 28 foot. But that's your bow flare. There's not much of one actually, but it's very very steep angle. You won't be able to see the back because it's up butted against another boat. Oh, and more importantly, Heidi, the resale value on this boat is really good, I understand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs>